I don't know. Okay. I don't know. But CP, seriously, can you? I wanna. I I asked you this question at the start. Can you show me? Because I, I I asked a Muslim, my friend in Saudi Arabia. Okay. He's a friend of me. He plays with me hmm. uh, on games and stuff. And I said to him, I asked him questions. Did Muhammad like? Is it true that Muhammad ever like killed people or whatever, or killed somebody at least? And he said, no, hmm. he never did any such thing. So, is that true or is that false? Because well, I'm just confused. There is a story, you know. See, as I said, Muhammad is a coward. He don't really, uh, he don't go for war, but he order killing. As an example, did you hear yeah. the story of Umm Qurfa? No, I haven't. Umm Qurfa, she was a very well respected woman, and uh, she refused to <laughs> accept Muhammad as a prophet. You know, right. And the Muslim report that Muhammad, he ordered this woman to be tied up between two camels. Between two camels. Okay. And he ordered the camels to run in two different directions. Why did he do, how, for what reason? He, he cut her two pieces alive. Yeah, but why? Because she refused him. She refused as a prophet. She, Muhammad, was she Muslim war. or a slave? Muhammad, no, she is a free woman. She is very well respected. Actually, she used to stop war. This is how much the Arab respect her. If she put, if she put her scarf between the two army, this is what she did according to Muslims once. She put uh -huh. her scarf between two armies, and she said, "The one who pass my scarf first is the one who disrespect me." So both army went home. Because nobody dared to disrespect her. This is how respected she is. So, Muhammad, because this woman, she refused to accept him as a prophet. He killed her by ripping her two part. And then he took her daughter to be a sex slave. And let me show you some reference. Wow. Okay. Um, I never knew that. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that. Yeah, let us see. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't say things without giving proof. So let me give you a reference. Um, and not only she is a woman; she is a very old woman. Okay. Okay. I will use Google Translation to help you. Yeah. And I will post the link. Actually, I believe there is a book translated in English for this, but I don't know where the link it is for it. Uh, the book name at Tabaqat al Kubra, Muhammad ibn Sa'ad, volume number two, page number 90. And I'm going to use Google Translation. Mm -hmm. Translate to Google. If you go to the end of the page, here it says. <clears throat> she was a very old Umukrifa. She was a very old woman, and he killed her violently. He tied her legs with ropes. Then he tied her between two camels, and he, you know, the translation is not good here. And he make her to 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 imagine how filthy he is. Yeah, but like I don't, I, I just, I don't think this was, I don't think this is true, bro. This is obviously my friend. This is this is your books. Like, this is, is not my books. You see, this is the this is the book Muhammad ibn Saad at Tabaqat al Kubra, volume number two, page number ninety, and this is exist in many Islamic books anyway. So if you say to me, I don't think it's true. Yeah, this is your. You want to play the game as all Muslims they 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 play? No problem. It's up to you. <laughs> No, yeah. but like, I'm just, you know, I'm just, because I've never listen, heard this listen. before. So if this is a book written by a Christian prince, then you have the right to say, well, it's not true. But if a Christian prince is quoting what is written by you Muslims, how you say to Christian prince, this is not true? Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Why are you okay, Muslim? Yeah. You know, the Muslims are proud about their prophet very much. They worship him. So... Yeah. When those Muslims they well, we wrote don't this, worship him, we just we no, you worship, worship him. him. The truth is, you worship him. And when they wrote Freedom those stories, when they wrote those stories, the manner we are talking about today is not exist. And Muslims are so proud about how he killed this woman. They are so excited. So for them, when they mention it, 
and this is the link I'm going to post it. I made short link because it's having Arabic title is going to be long. I just posted the, the, the link for the reference guys. So save it. So later don't ask me for the reference about how Muhammad, he raped a woman, very old woman. Very. How old was she? Uh, according to my understanding, more than 86 something. Oh, wow. Yeah, so between 80 old. and 80, uh, maybe, maybe 90. There's no exact number to be sure from. But she, it, the, the book says clearly, very old woman. And this is a statement you don't say to someone is just 60, you know, very old. Is there, is there the reason in that, the reason for her killing is My friend, that, there's um, no, there's no reason right? can explain this. Let us say, let us say, first, she's a woman, correct? Secondly, she's yeah. old. Number three, uh -huh. if I was a leader of an army, and she is not really, I mean, she have a 13 son, Muhammad, he killed them all, and he took the daughters. She have a daughter, she is very beautiful. He took her as a sex slave. Right. But there is no reason to do what he did. You want to kill her? Let us say a person was in war with me. You know, I was fighting mm -hmm. uh, 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 like uh, this family. You know, they are my enemies. And then I killed the 13 sons. Why I want to kill this old, very old woman? And in a, not only kill her, he tied her between two camels and he ripped her to pieces. This is not killing no more. This is torture. He's evil. Okay. The same Muhammad he did, there's a story about supposedly... Uh, uh, babe, can I, I wanna, that, that, that post that you linked, is that Shia website? Yeah, but is this is, this is the, the book is a Sunni, a Sunni book. But, but what if, uh, like, if this I is show library. some this is library. imams in there? No, this but is... if I show some Sunni, they will say, oh, this is Shia, and you know, the, so... My you friend, know? my my friend, uh, uh, it, it, it doesn't does it really matter if even if it's Shia book or or Sunni book? Do the Shia? Well, Sunnis, do the Shia? Sunni say that the Shias lie. My friend, okay. What about the Sunni? But this this is a this about... first. This is a Shia library. They have all books. They have Al Bukhari. Is Al Bukhari book of Shia? No. They have Muslim. They have all books. But Shias don't uh, take Sahih al-Bukhari or Sahih Muslim, This right? is library, my friend. This is library. Okay, library. library, okay. This is okay. library. It's not, it's not about Shia. It's not about Sunni. It's not about, you know, this is library. They have books. They have thousands and thousands of books. Okay. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, and the story about your prophet, you know, putting nails in the eyes of those shepherd who supposedly they killed the shepherd and run away, or um, um, people who left Islam, you know. Wait, 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 they killed who? There's a bunch of guys, they came to Muhammad, they brought their animals and they convert to Islam. Muhammad, uh -huh. he told them to put their animals there, you know. Then they decide to run away, obviously they did not, you know, they found that Muhammad is a fraud. According to the Muslim stories. Uh, okay. But can you show me on what he put nails in their eyes? It's in the front of you. Okay, well, it's loading. Uh -huh. When they came first time to Muhammad, Muhammad, he ordered them to drink the camel urine, you know, which is very weird, and uh, to drink from the milk, you know. And then when they wake up in the morning, they decide uh -huh. to take their camels. The Muslim, they say they are stealing camels. But as I see here, those people, they come to him. Uh, it doesn't sound like they are stealing anything. But anyway, they they took the camels and they killed one shepherd in order to, st to steal, according to Muslims. And then when Muhammad, he cut them, he cut their hands, he cut their feet, and he put nails after he put it in fire. And he, he you know, he, uh, uh, what they call it in, uh, in English, when you... Uh, blind somebody with uh, uh, with nails he gagged gogged he gogged out their eyes okay gogged out okay yeah yeah okay um this is and there's tons of example all of this is sahih well how come nobody tells me the history of muhammad they keep saying like i went on youtube to search his uh, documentary of his life 
and the sheikhs and the imams are telling me his life and they, everything's just he's a peaceful man i don't even understand how this is yeah muhammad is peaceful but isn't, it, but isn't it the quran says that those who do mischief in the earth cut their feet cut their hands cut their etc yeah yeah but that mischief is like uh, if you read the first verses of that it says if you wage war war okay against muhammad and allah so it's not just like uh just go on killing them if you wage war mm. no wage, wage war in islam is me now i am according to muslims i'm waging war so i deserve a punishment as the quran says wage no, war is anyone war. is anyone no anyone who oppose allah messenger he is in war and even if you don't actually oppose Allah, as long as you refuse to accept Islam, you're, you're at war. That's why the Quran, chapter 9, verse number 29 says, Attack those who believe not in Allah in the last days. Not those who attack you, those who believe not. Just because you don't believe not, you are at war with them. But that's, uh, that's um, uh, the war. That's the, that was a battle between uh, a Roman Christian thingy and... No, my friend, that, uh, the, the one who started, first of all, first of all, Muhammad, he started killing the Christians and the Jews before he went to the Roman. And the Christian, they never fought Muhammad. They never have a war with him. And there's no reason for him to kill them. And when he said, I kill them, if they pay you jizya, then don't, don't stop killing but, them. But uh, the, 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 the speakers, the Dawah team in Speakers Corner in London, they said that... Um, they said that uh, all, the, all the wars or battles or whatever, they threatened and they attacked... Uh, the Muslims. Well, I just showed you. Opposite, I just showed right? you the hadith where Muhammad he sent the letter to the Roman saying, "Become a Muslim, you will be safe." Aslam, Aslam. So it is yeah, Muhammad who sent. Of, Muhammad he sent the letter. He sent two. He sent letters to the Persian, to the Roman, and to the. Uh, did the Persian attack Muhammad? No, he attacked them. Uh, Persia is far away. At the end of the war. Okay. Okay. So why the Muslim army went there? I mean, I don't know. Muslim lies. But, but the Muslim lies is bigger than the the biggest poo poo in the earth. So the. But the, maybe this was so, just one so time. So the Muslims, maybe most when, of the when, when, when Muhammad he sent his army to fight the Persian and the Roman and uh, to to Egypt, you know, the ruler ruler of Egypt, of Egypt, he sent them gifts. He did not fight him. He sent them gifts. He sent them Maria the cook and her cousins. As, is it true that Egypt was never a Muslim country and it was forced by Muslims to sure become Muslim? No, this is this is the land of the Coptic, and the Coptic were occupied by the by the Roman, but the Roman of uh, of uh, of that territory, the Roman ruler, he was a friend to Muhammad. He sent him a gift. Muhammad, you cannot you cannot trust Muhammad. He take your gift second day he go and kill you. So they never fought him. Name for me when the Egypt attack, the Roman in Egypt attack Muhammad never. How they can so do the, so? The how, how, attack, even they can, the how even they can the do so, my friend? Egypt. There is there is a sea between them. Egypt is not in the border of Saudi Arabia. But how did they manage to attack Egypt then? They took the you know they they, they attack in uh, uh, they took the Boats? they attack the Jordan they take Syria and then they invade you know they went all the way to Egypt. Anywhere they can cross the sea. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm just confused. So what do you think? Because like I pray every, I pray like five times a day, and I would like wake up for fajr every morning. Why you pray five times a day? Five. Why you pray five times a day? Uh, because I'm very strict about my religion, and I just like. Okay, um, where in the Quran it says pray five times? <laughs> oh my God! Why did I have to say that? Because I. Cause I I know it says three times in the Quran, but it's like there's five five names of the prayers mentioned in the Quran. What, what five prayer? Wait, can you show me the five prayer mentioned in the Quran? I think there's a, there's a verse in the Quran that mentions all the prayers. No. Uh, teach me. I want to learn. I don't know the verse, but... And you know, you see, okay, you know Mimi Hijab. Mimi Hijab, he says, the Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, is going to be... Uh, not from God. Contra there's a contradiction. If there's a contradiction, correct? Okay. Okay. So if you say to me, there's verse mention five prayer, and then the Quran says pray three times, two at the end of the day, and one in the you know in the approach of the night. 
Uh, well, maybe you join, maybe you put two prayers in one prayer, you know, and in the last night prayers, maybe no, just one prayer. Here we go. It says, this is Allah, He is ordering them how many times to pray. Establish a prayer, the two end of the day, this is mean, the end of the day and the beginning of the day. You know, according to Muhammad, when the sun rise, you know, this is end of a okay. day. And when the sun set, this is the other end of a day, you know. Okay. So there's two end of the day. And th those you pray on them, and when the night approach, so three times. The one who make it five, it was Moses. When Muhammad, he went to Allah, supposedly, and Allah enjoyed Muhammad with 50 prayer. Then uh, Moshe, okay. Moshe, you know, the Jewish guy, he have a calculator, you know the Jews, they have a calculator. So he said to him, Habibi Muhammad, how you can pray 50 times? So you're a prophet, he went back to Allah, and he asked him for a discount. Have you ever heard okay. of a God he get discount from 50 to 5? Uh, well, well, it's just how God does. I mean, why can't, I mean, in the Bible, God changes his mind a lot about different no. things too, right? No. no, Yes, when Moses came to ask Jesus about uh, <clears throat> to not kill or punish some type of people, and then God yeah. said, don't kill them or something. Okay, but this did not change his mind. It's not change his mind. Well, it was his order was first to no, kill no, them, no, and no, then Moses no, no, asked Jesus no, to this, not kill them. This is what uh, asked Jesus. What what are you talking about? Listen. So, oh God! No, if you want to give me something, uh, give me a reference so we can read, and we, we you will see that you are wrong. But here, this God he told Muhammad fifty prayer, right? Okay. Okay. But what's wrong with God changing his mind? It's I not mean, about changing it, his mind. It's not, not not about changing his mind. I mean, the guy you just gave him fifty prayer. Why you give him 50 prayer if he cannot do it? Because the Muslims won't be able to do 50. There's Muslims okay, today you. that can't so even do you are, five. You are saying that Allah is wrong. So Muslims <clears throat> cannot do 50, you know? No, he wasn't wrong. He wasn't wrong. Uh, uh, he was just, it was just maybe, I don't know. It's just something that you just said. said. You just said the Muslims cannot do 50, correct? It'll be very really hard, yeah. No, it's not very really hard. It's, uh, it's it's impossible. How many hours a day? You sleep eight hours, right? Yeah. Okay, at least. I mean, some people sleep more. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. So if we have 16 hours, I'm going to use a calculator. This is made by the, the Christians. Uh, mm -hmm. This is why the numbers will be false now, because the Christian calculator is wrong, you know. So if we have 16 hours left and we have 50, pr 50 prayer, so we are going to divide 50 to 16. Yeah, but one prayer for me takes like maybe uh, maybe like eight minutes, maybe seven minutes. Okay, eight minutes or seven minutes, but you need to do ablution before the prayer, correct? Yeah, but not all, not every, not every time before you pray. It just depends if you went to the toilet beforehand. So you spend the whole day, you don't go to the toilet. No, but like if I'm praying five times a day, I don't. I maybe have to do ablution if you touch like your, two times. If you touch your wife, you have to do ablution. Just well, touch luckily her hand. I don't have a wife. So I, I know. It's all if good. you touch your mother, you know, you 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 have to do ablution. Uh, but anyway, okay, okay, so ablution. Fifty okay, times, fifty times, divide to sixteen. This is without the ablution. That's mean you okay. have to pray three times an hour. Correct. Okay. Okay. That's mean you have to pray every twenty minutes. No, not three times an hour. Why Why do you say three times an hour? 15 divided to 16. We said we sleep eight hours, at least. Okay. I mean, you might, people don't sleep eight hours, really. I mean, if you are... Well, I sleep, I know I sleep about nine, nine and a half. Yeah, I sleep 24 hours. You know, I'm talking to you now, sleeping, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I'm, sleep, I'm a sleeping, talking person. As you really, you know, he's talking to you now. So, <laughs> uh, so this is impossible. And even the Hadith says that, you know, the Musa's he told Muhammad, well, your people cannot do that. Right? And obviously right. Muhammad is convinced. My people cannot do that. So Musa, he told him, go back to Allah and ask him to lower it. So from 50 to 5. Why Allah don't give okay, him 5 from the, the beginning? I mean, what? Now, yeah. And how Musa is there, by the way? Isn't Musa is dead? Oh, his spirit is there. Huh? No. His spirit is no, there. No, he, he did not see spirit. He see he, spirit. He, his spirit is there. Yeah, that's what I said. His spirit that's, is there. That's false, my friend, because resurrection, after resurrection, prophets and a human being, all of them, their their body resurrected with the soul, 
and then reunited oh, me. Oh, that reminds me of a question. Uh, I heard you say uh, in one of your videos to a guy that uh, in, in the Surah, in the Quran, it says that Muhammad, before Muhammad, all messengers passed away. Before what? Before Muhammad, all messengers passed away. Yeah, the Quran says that, not me. Yeah, but the is that but in the English translation is it doesn't say all. Oh, this is false translation some. as usual. What do you expect? It says قد خلت قد قد is حرف استحقاق قد خلت. Okay. قد خلت من قبلهم, which means it's already accomplished. All messengers before them did pass away. Chapter three. Okay. Chapter three, verse one forty four. Uh, chapter 5 verse number 75 like here chapter 5 verse number 75 says قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُولِ and the, the Messiah the son of Maryam uh, he is just a messenger and the one messenger before him they pass away as a click at the translation hmm. okay the Muslim translation they say many messengers were uh, pass away but this is not true there's no way the word many is exist and I change any Muslim to show me where the <laughs> word many is exist it says قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ All messengers before him, they pass away. You change the translator. This is Yusuf Ali, let's see, different one. Let's see, this okay. guy, Sarwar. You know? Hmm. But Mary so all messengers, was right? No more, no more than the messenger before whom uh, uh, lived many other messengers. What is that? <laughs> this translation is using Google, maybe. Let us uh, use different idiot. Uh, Shakar. Okay. Uh, apostle before him have indeed passed away. The apostle, all of them. So, uh, and this is contradiction because even Muslim they claim that there's a prophet. His name is Idris. Allah, he took him up to heaven. So, is Idris in heaven or not? They will say, well, the Quran is not making it clear. Then, yeah, but it says before whom there lived many, many other messengers. That doesn't mean all. Many means like just like no, my uh, friend, my friend. Like the, the word many is not exist. You can you can take this. Uh, there is a Muslim website, Islam. I think Quran.com, something like this. You can move the uh, the mouse over the word, and they will explain. They will translate word okay, by word. Okay, okay. I believe you. I believe you. Yeah. It's no, no, Arabic, you don't right? need to believe so, okay. me, my friend. They don't need to believe me. You can ask anyone. <laughs> Go right now to ask anyone, or even those who you claim that they are teaching in the speaker corner. Tell them, can you show me the word many? Hey, well, this is a verse in front of us. And here we go. I have, uh, we have almost 1,400 Muslims, or uh, I don't know how many, and more later. I challenge, I have a challenge to any Muslim to show me the word many. Where is the word many? Where is many? Okay. There's no many. Messengers before him, they pass away. Which mean all of them, and this is the same goes for the verses about Muhammad. Muhammad and is Jesus dead in Islam, or is he? No, he's like, alive. You are, I know you are the, I know, do I know, not know that. You are too much. I know the Quran it says that. Ch chapter three. Listen, chapter three, verse one forty-four says, Muhammad, was, yeah, I know was, Muhammad is no more a than a messenger. Here, but I'm saying that, like, if this verse says it, then how come the other verse says he wasn't dead? How come what? If this verse says that he he didn't like many messengers, like all messengers according to you, died, but in the other verse, it, one in the verse in the Quran it says that um, he was made to appear to the Jews that he was. Yeah, or we, to don't the wanna, we don't want to mix a topic now. Just focus with me one thing. So Muhammad is no more than a messenger, and here they insert the word many, and I want you. Do you have a shake? Yeah, in the mosque. Can yes. you call him to join us? <laughs> How am I meant to call him? Like why not? Because we want to show you. We want to show you that Muslims they lie. They lie to you as a Muslim, and there is no many. Okay, I'll ask him. He speaks Arabic. He's from Algeria, so I'll, okay, I'll no, show him. Don't an, ask him. Call him. Call him now. Just uh, you can ask him later. No problem. But can't you call him now? <laughs> yeah, just, just, because we want everybody to see. Because either I am making things up, or they are making things up. Well, why here it says many? Where is the where is the many? Where is the word many? Why Muslims? How, are... how do you say many in Arabic? How do you say the word many? Uh, kathiron. 
Okay, and that's not in the Arabic? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay, it's okay. I, I believe you. I believe you. So No, I don't want you just to I don't believe think, me. I don't think he will answer because the guy is busy and he's probably in prayer. He's busy. He has four wives making babies and getting welfare from the no, government. No, he's a imam. He, he leads prayers. And he's in work too, probably. I don't well, know. So. What lead the prayer? I mean, he just bent over, he makes some fart and he makes money. What does that mean? Is that a job? <laughs> I don't know. Well, my friend, isn't the Muslim they pray five times a day? Yes, okay. obviously. And he prayed five times a day. So how that he became something special? He's just a person. He bent in front of them. By the way, about bending, is it true that Muslims, they get excited when they see the ass of a man in front of them and he bent? No. Okay, can you explain to me this hadith then? A bunch of Muslims, they come to the caliphate, Omar, and they were complaining that there's a Muslim imam who have a nice ass and he is in the, they get tempted by his ass and they claim he is a feminist so they are upset right, uh, yeah. because this person he is uh you know tempting them and they you know they get horny so uh, okay yeah let us let us see uh the hadith here okay here we go this is sahih okay. bukhari and this is sahih hadith <clears throat>